Australian Senate. Um, by the 1960s, the Woodgrass was having a hard time, the freshman in the States being pushed aside by the rock and roll, uh, the Beatles were about to arrive, and country music was fully electric and loud and all over the place. So, to, to keep Woodgrass going, uh, they looked for points of difference, and Bill Monroe's band found a really hot banjo player who could play in a new style, a different style to, to Els Groves. And his name was Bill Keith. Uh, Bill Keith played in a, a what we call a melodic style nowadays. Uh, Earl Scruggs, who had been the first uh, really uh, first real bluegrass banjo player with Monroe in the 1940s, uh, played a series of patterns called rolls, and so you had to fit the tune to the rolls. A little arpeggio. <laughs> Bill Keith uh, decided that. Well, you could play the melodies of some of these old fiddle tunes directly on banjo. It took a little bit of gymnastics because the banjo isn't tuned uh, in, uh, in a regular pattern like a mandolin or a violin. Uh, and one of the tricks was to never play two notes on the same string so that you could use different fingers and get a lot of fluid sound. Out. We're going to do one of his show pieces or a couple of his show pieces from back then. These are actually pieces that were uh, popular in, in the, uh, among banjo players in a similar style back in the 1800s. But they're uh, mostly known as fiddle tunes. The first one is Devil's Dream, and the second one is Taylor's Hornpipe. 